welcome back <laughs> and surprise surprise I'm on my way to the garden center I'm supposed to be getting compost we're gonna try and not get any plants keyword try <laughs> so I need to get um, I have a few annuals from my last um, garden run garden center run that I did and I have quite a few um, Annuals I need to get in the ground. I'm trying to get them all in the ground today. And as you know, I have sandy soil, so I have to amend the soil a bit so I can give the plants a fighting chance. So I'm trying not to plant in sand like I normally do. <laughs> but yeah, so pray for me, y'all. I can't, I can't. Like every imagine when I started my garden this year. I had everything cleared out, blank slate. I had a set goal in mind of what I was going to do. I, I don't even remember what I'm going to I was going to do with the garden. <laughs> like I think I had a red and purple border I was going to do. I haven't even gotten a not one red and purple border in. I actually have some annuals now that I'm going to plant it up to make it red and purple, but I end up going with a completely different design than what I started out with. And that's because when you go to the garden centers, you do get inspiration, such as you see, um, you see different planters, different plants that are there, and then you see, and sometimes they pair them well together, and that gives you ideas as well. So that's what happened to me. I ended up seeing plants, and I'm like, you know what? These will go together. And if you were, if you, if you haven't watched my channel for a while, you remember when I went to um, Hagen A's and I saw the purple, white, and the purple and white. It was the Super Tuna in Vista Indigo, the Mini Vista, I mean, the, the Silverberry, and the, what's the purple and white one called? I forgot, but um, that, I can't remember what was the name of the plant called, but anyways, so that's what I have in my border currently because I saw that and so I'm like, oh my gosh, this would look so amazing together. So it was like on the spot inspiration that I got <laughs> and I actually end up doing that. So I'm going to the garden center now to get soil, not soil, um, compost. And I want to look at the, the mulch as well because I'm looking for, I think I'm going to go find triple shredded uh, mulch if I can find it. I may have to order it online for a delivery because I'm going to need quite a bit. So that's the goal. I'm going to look for look at mulch. I keep saying I'm going to look at mulch every garden center run and I haven't looked at not one mulch. Oh my goodness. So today we're looking at mulch today and we are getting compost. We're getting compost. We're not buying plants. We are not buying plants. We're getting compost. I can do this. I don't have anywhere to put them yet. <laughs> I, I have a lot of like when I get back home I'm going to show you all the plants I'm planting today and that will tell you that I have nowhere else to put them right now like and the thing is when you see a plant at a garden center you have to get it right then and there because if you leave it then and you come back later it's going to be gone so you have to get it right then and there so that's another thing <sighs> okay exception plants if I see my hibiscus, I have to get it. I'm looking for either um, the bloomables or the proven winners um, perennial hibiscus. If I see that, I can get it. I heard that it was there and it got sold out in days. I was so mad because I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna go to the garden center for a whole month. I had too much plants. And the one time I didn't go, it was gone. So I was pretty bummed about that. And I see it online, but I'm looking for the gallon ones. And, and I don't see the gallon ones on the Proven Winners website. Just the 18, um, the, yeah, it doesn't have the gallon one. So I need that one. But I still ordered um, the Edge of Night, but I'm looking for the Holy Grail. So, yeah. <laughs> Owl, oh my gosh. What else can I buy? What else, what else, not what else can I buy? What else is on my, hydrangeas. If my hydrangeas are here, those are an, another must plant, must buy plant. I don't think those are here, so I think I'm safe with that. But hydrangeas and hibiscus, those are on my list of plants to purchase. And I'm only doing two garden centers today. I'm, I'm not doing a, um, a garden center tour or anything like that so I'm just running in and running out 
because because of you guys when i'm oh let me show you what's in my garden center and people keep asking oh what's blooming in our florida right now and I'm, okay let me show you what's in my garden center then i'm here showing you the flowers and then i'm like oh my gosh it's so cute i like it and then it ends up in my cart <laughs> so it's gonna be quick in and out the less time i spend in there the least likely i will grab something we're amping ourselves for willpower willpower a few moments later this is so cute on standard i've never seen this before sapphire showers but it looks pretty look at the blooms there's quite a few of them on standard this is why, you know what, I should just give up on the pep talk, y'all, and just be like, <laughs> leave, leave your wallet at home. I think that's the best bet. Leave the wallet at home. Yep, I already have the bees knees in my cart. Now, this is an arrangement. Look at this. How cute is that? I like super bean mix, mixed with super bells and Bordeaux. I don't think that's Bordeaux, but it looks like Bordeaux. That is super cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's some beautiful arrangements. They mix all those super tunias together. So pretty. Ooh, what's that? Bleeding hearts. That's pretty. And here's what I'm sad about. My hibiscus came in with the rose of Sharon from what I heard. Oh my god, but look how pretty it is. There's actually one in bloom that's over there. Look how pretty this flower is. And look at all the buds that are coming up still. That's the rose of Sharon. Six plus hours of sun. Hardness in zones 5 to 9. So pretty. All right, let's look at the last section and head on out. I love these, and yes, I'm getting them. <sighs> so I have this new obsession with Lapilari. So this is a Proven Winners brand. So these are a little bit smaller, but this one is a different brand. But I like the petals on it. It's like a petal with a whole bunch of blooms on it. So it's a bit different. So I like the mounded habit that has. So I'm going to grab these and I'm looking at this container right here and this is giving me inspiration and I think I want to have like it's look like it's, a tra it's trailing down and I love that. So I think I want to do that with the ones I have now. Oh gosh. Okay. These are the um, the super penis. What, what do they call it? The, not white burst. Storm burst or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. But it's not it. They're cake pops. These are cute. So I grabbed some. Now, what I'm trying to decide on is if I need them in the containers or in the landscape or both. Hmm, do I need more or not? More or not? <sighs> more white containers. Look how pretty these are. Good thing I don't have any apricot in my garden this year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure next year I will. <laughs> I did need an... Is this the ultramarine? Or is this the royal velvet? Because I needed an extra ultramarine. I mean an extra indigo. This one's the super bells. Super bells. Great punch. You got the... Snowdrift, this Proven Winner, Super Tuna Royal Velvet, this one's a Fuchsia, so really red. Any Scarlet, because I'm, I'm missing a Scarlet, I need a Scarlet. And here goes some Lantanas over here, oh my gosh. Okay, we're not going to say oh my gosh anymore, because <laughs> when you know once I say oh my gosh, that means I'm getting it. I just while i'm in the garden center had an idea for um <laughs> a new um like i'm looking at what i have and what was in my cart over there 
And I'm hmm, that can go. <laughs> I wonder if I should do a pop off. So the, the proof of winner one is yellow, but this is another brand here, Lucky. And it has, it's a lantern as well, but it has a pop of orange in it, and I like that. I wonder if it's um, tall. It looks a bit taller than the Proven Winners one. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get it to go with that. Ha, 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 ha. These are cute. And it's a perennial as well. It's its hardness zones 8 to 11. How pretty! Oh my goodness! Orchid lovers out there. Look how cute! These are $39.99. My mom would love these. Aww. So pretty. I should get her one. Alright, here's what I got so far. And if you have a cloth in your car, you know, <laughs> you're tempted to get stuff. I, oh my gosh, I didn't even look at the mulch. Let's go to the other garden center. Okay guys, so I just left Higgins. <laughs> All the pep talk was for nothing. So now we're heading to Lowe's and we're not doing any pep talks. I didn't even look at the mulch. I'm gonna look at mulch this time for real, for real. <laughs> I wanna see what the mulch looks like. I was need mulch and compost. And we'll take a peek at the plants. If we see something we like, we're going to get it. Oh, how the mighty have fallen and how the tone, the words and tone has switched up. <laughs> but for all you gardeners out there who want to practice willpower when you go into the garden center, leave your wallets at home. If you don't have any money to buy the plant, you can't buy the plant. But if you bring your wallet with you, then you'll buy the plants. And those of you who have a garden budget, you guys are strong. Good job stick to it don't be like me I'm a bad influence so pretty I'm sorry but is this a hydrangea on standard look at that they got these on standard. How cute. Ah. My curiosity has been spiked. So this, it says, non harding zones 1 through 5, keep moist, da da da. It's a Merit Supreme Hydrangea, 3 to 6 hours of morning sun. I like it. It says a patio tree, but I think I want to put it where my arm. Um, evergreen is it looks so pretty right there so I like this topiary um, it's a Monrovia emerald holly it says hardy zone 79 0 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit so this is perfect because remember the other one I saw at Walmart they were not hardy below 35 I think it was and we do get cold but it's only a double decker so I actually want the one that has the multiple branches so if that was a multiple branch one I would have gotten it but it's a double decker and I want the multi branch one <laughs> child I just looked at the price that's it's 152 I wonder how much the multi branch one would be if this double decker is 152 oh these plants be highway rubbish on $68 this is a blue Italian cypress hardy to zone 7 to 10 I think this is the one I saw the last time I said it's perfect for us in Florida because it's hardy zone 7 to 10 so even if you're in South Florida you guys can get this one if you're in Key West in the Keys I think you guys are 11 or 12 zones so you may not be able to get this one listen I'm not about to play with y'all so this is a bird of paradise here these people have plants coming out the truck I, I don't want to be here for this it's too much Look at all these plants. They're literally just coming off the truck. Look at my Cipertina Bordeaux. I think that's the that lemon cello. No, lemon slice. It's a California. Look at that. So, yeah, guys, you're unloading stuff. Do I need another tea plant? <sighs> decisions, decisions. 
like people are literally grabbing stuff off the cart that just came off the truck oh my gosh I need to make a decision before they're all gone <laughs> so oops sorry <laughs> All right, so I got the compost. This is the only one that they have, so I just went with that one. The rest is like topsoil and oh, that's mushroom compost. I think that's perfect for like veggies and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'll just go with this. This one. It's the one I got. And it's two ninety-eight. And here's what's in my cart so far, y'all. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Look at all these guys. It's like plants that are like weathered and hanging on. They're on sale, guys. They're on clearance. And you can bring them back to life. Just bring them home, cut off all the dead spots, water them in, and they'll bounce right back. So these are items. On, it's like three rows of plants on clearance. Okay, guys. So I just got back and the stuff are still in the car i need to take them out but i have no idea where i'm planting these things and i'm warning you from now this is going to be a long video because i'm trying to get a lot of stuff planted today like normally i'll break it up in different days but i'm going to be busy the next few days and it's going to be raining as well so i need to get these plants in the ground yeah <laughs> Let me show you what my plans are. <laughs> I think I should be banned from going to the garden center. Because in order for me to create more more spaces for these plants, I need to create a new garden bed. And I'm not ready to do that yet because I have to master the bed that I currently have. Look at the bed I have. Look who's not mulch the bed yet. Like I know I want to put yellow in there and I the yellow ones that I just got the bees knees I might put it in there or I might wait for my order I think I'm gonna wait for my order because that's supposed to be going, going that pot there and I have this supposed to be a purple pot I have a, the super tuna latte is gonna go in here but I'm thinking of putting this white one here it's over there in there so I'm not sure yet <sighs> decisions decisions all right let me go get the, the plants out the car so we can at least get started look at it i still have plants i haven't even planted in ground yet that's from the last time i went to lowe's <laughs> let me show you something else oh look over here you remember these lemon coral sedum i'm planting them today but they were in the back just sitting in the containers waiting for somewhere to go i got those like two months ago i think i got those in january guys and i was going to put them over there but i changed my mind i was going to put them here but then i have to deal with them in the leaves this is how it gets when the leaves get in here so i'm going to take these out and i want to put them in the cracks in between the walkway i don't know if i want to get all this done to the end of it yes they got more petunias in containers so let's see if we can get all this done today and why does it look overcast and I was going to put these over here, but then since I went to the store today, I might do something else with it. Let's figure it out as, figure it out as we go. Let's head to the car. See, my hydrangea made it home. She was in her seat belt. It's on standard. I was gonna get two, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just get one. But look, let me get her out. Come on, welcome home. Welcome to your new house. Let me take your seatbelt off. Come on, baby girl. Oh, there you go. And not a mess in the car. Look at those blooms, blooms, blooms. And ignore the pollen that's on the ground, guys. I haven't blown it off yet. It's from the tree for the new leaves to come in. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put my new hydrangea on the patio porch. Uh, where should I put her? Hmm. I think right here should be good. I 
I may want to give it some height. So I may put it into another pot. Let me see. Actually, I have a pot. I'm going to put it in my pot that I got. Let me go get it. It's like a whiskey barrel container. Let me run in and grab it. Ta da! Now, the question is should I have gotten two? All right, so I'm putting it here. So I didn't put any holes in here. So we'll see. My baby girl and her rocks. I may just pour water in here to feed it from the bottom up. But look how pretty. And I'm thinking I should have gotten, I should have grabbed the second one. <laughs> oh my gosh. So when I was at Lowe's, guys, let me tell you the story. But, but I'm loving it. I'm thinking I should get another one. So when I was at Lowe's, right? All the um, remember I was showing you all the pallets that were coming off the truck. There were so many people there. There, there was so many people at the garden center, and is that like they were waiting for the truck? I'm like, nope, we're not doing this. So I had to leave because I probably would end up with more plants. I'm like, you know what? Nope, I'll come back next weekend. <laughs> but I'm thinking I should get another one. It's on standard, y'all. I'm loving it. I wonder if I should take it out of this container. I'm gonna leave it in here for now, and see how it acclimates to this climate temperature and everything so i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna keep an eye on the sun to see how much sun it gets because i don't want to get too much sun so we'll see but she looks so pretty <laughs> i'm so excited okay babies you are home and let's see where we're gonna put all this and i love that um ace give you little boxes for your container so they're not rolling all over the place and falling and dirt falling out and everything y'all I still have no idea where I'm putting these plants, but we're going to figure it out together. And I think I'm going to have to order the mulch because I still actually did get a chance to look at the mulch at those. And I checked at Home Depot a few days ago, but I didn't see the ones I wanted. So I am just going to have to check online and see what's available. And I think I've seen it before. I think it's actually by Scott's. I think the triple shredded mulch. So it's really fine. If not, then I'm just going to have to get one of the other ones. So today's going to be an epic planting day because it look, look like it's going to rain so i'm going to have to hurry and get everything in ground actually i'm going to leave this in here i don't like messing with the compost when it's wet so i'll leave it in here we got oh my goodness all right let me put them in the ground not in the ground but in the bed and see where we should do certain things okay so i just went inside and i had to grab some food because i was hungry had to get my toddler together so now i'm back out and this is supposed to be my toddler's garden bed we heard a little fairy garden i'm going to put <laughs> flowers in here i had um one of you guys asked what i'm going to do with this bed and i told you um petunias however <laughs> I have some additional plants to put in here along with the petunias. So I'm going to put her little fairy garden somewhere else. I'm going to relocate it to another area in the garden. We'll see. Because she likes to play with them. I'm not sure I'm going to put it yet. So I'm just going to get this bed cleared out, get all the toys out and everything and get all there's um a daffodil and a tulip like i said if you saw my last video that i did with the bulb update i think i labeled final bulb update 
I don't believe it's coming up. I don't believe I'm getting any um bulbs from these two. So those are good to go. I'm not gonna pull them up. I'm gonna leave them there, but I'm just gonna plant around them. Okay guys, so here's my problem. I know I want to do a pink and red theme in here. I don't know which ones to choose though. Oh, this looks pretty. I don't know which one. I know for sure I want this red in there. So I think I want it to be mostly red. Like initially I was going to do it all pink and white, but then I want to do it red. So I'm trying to find a way to keep it in there in the small bed. Let me play around with it some more and see. Listen, I, all I have been doing is rearranging the things. My watch says I've been working on for 10 minutes. When I tell you gardening is a workout, and don't let nobody tell you anything. If you're in the garden, work, working in the garden, you're working out, you're exercising. Don't listen to them. Gardening is a workout, y'all. All right, so let me give you some plant names. This one's a Super Tunia Mini Vista Pink Star. So that's Pink Star. She's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. So I'm gonna put, the, put her here. This is a pink star. That's gonna go there. This one is the Olivia Cherry Dianthus. This is full sun, Monday perennial. This is for zones. Cold hardness zone, negative 10 to negative 20. Non hardening zones, one to four. I wonder if it'll come back. I'm gonna plant it as an animal without the expectation of it coming back, but it can stand up to the cold. But will it stand up to the heat? That's another thing. <laughs> this one is a 21st century phlox. It's a mounding perennial. Comes back year after year. So that's fun. So that's six plus hours of sun. Cold hardness zone nine, non hardening zones one to eight. So this will come back. So Florida, zone nine, we're good. This is also a phlox, but this one's a pink one. It's the uh, same thing as the other. And I actually have on this side, let's go on the other side. This one, the same as that one, the pink star, that's the same as that one. Over here, I have the Empress Sun Verbenia. This one is none hardy below 33, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it gets winter time and we drop below 32, that's gonna die. Super Tunia Vista Bubble Gum. I only got a small one. You know, this is very vigorous. I'm putting it in the back so it can take over the back. But this one right here, the Verbena, I have it over there. Let me switch, flip you around so you can see. I have it mixed in over there. I have the white one, and there's another white one over there. The rest are proven winners um, Sparkling Amethyst and Lilac Blue. So let's see if they can fit in here. And this one, I was going to put it in here as well. This one is the Super Tuna Vista Paradise. It's not going to fit. So, <laughs> and it's a Vista. So, you know, Vista is a very vigorous plant. So, we're not going to put that in there. So, let's see first if I can get another toy. Let's see if I can get this to fit. I'm not going to really take them out of the pot. I'm just going to keep them in the pot to see what the space is looking like but I'm gonna dig the hole big enough to fit the pots if that makes sense to see what they will look like so 
that's gonna go right there oh look at my little daffodil bulbs I think they're daffodil bulb um roots for the daffodils I think that's what those are I guess I'm gonna leave the daffodils in there even though I don't think that they're gonna come up and over here I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them. The birds are out, they're tripping away. So, okay, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get them planted up. But I think, yeah, once the colors all come together, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a large container. So I'm going for like a large container <laughs> with different textures and different shades of pink and red. So that's the color theme I'm going for and I'm liking it. I did this before this um blue point juniper but with purple and it looks so pretty i think it looks better with purple but we're gonna go with the pink this year okay so we're finished with that <laughs> hmm i wonder if i should have bring that one over a little bit more i think i should i'm gonna bring it over a little more and i put biotone in each of them for the roots put it right here that's so it can be a bit more symmetrical I'll put some biotone here there we go And if you look, you can see the sand. And I had compost in there from before. So it's like sand and compost mixed together. But I'm excited to see how they turn out. So that's one area done. Let's do the... Hmm. Let's do the purples. These over here. Let's get these in. So I want to put them inside. Actually, no, because they're going to spread over here so i think i'm gonna put them along outside of the verbenias let me try and see how they look actually before i do that look that, wouldn't that make a great container like i'm gonna, let me take a picture of this picture snap. this way i can use it as an inspo for next year like that would be a great container like these with that it's not too late i can still do it let me see how they look over there and who knows i may change into a container so i was thinking about putting it over there or even in between each of these and i think i kind of want to wait because i'm not sure how how much the verbenas are going to spread as well as the scarlet because those are vista and they're mini vista scarlet like but how much are they going to spread even though it would, it would look so pretty because i'm going to get the yellow soon so it's gonna be like red and yellow then it's like gonna be a cloud of purple and white right there and then the verbenas will be here like purple and pink and white uh, mm, mm. but i'm thinking i can put them in a container <laughs> i kind of like it like that though that is so pretty y'all what do you think go back and get more and make this into a another border i think it's gonna to be too crowded because uh, like i said i know um one of my garden friends commented and said that they hers is like three feet and she's in florida as well so these just got planted and then they haven't spread yet so i'm not sure if they're gonna take over that and i don't want that to happen and the vistas they're gonna spread so but they look so pretty <laughs> all right let me contemplate what i'm gonna do I could also put them here, which I know I'm taking these yellow ones up, so these are not going to be here because, yeah. Can you see them? Let me go over here. Like those yellow ones, I'm going to move them. So I'm going to put those in containers with the lantanas that I got. Let me see how they look here. So this is what I go through. Every time I get plants, I move plants around in my yard, in my garden, and trying to find space for the new ones I purchased because I had no business 
purchasing new plants <laughs> for space i don't even have like i promise you while i was in the garden center i'm like yeah i could do this with it i could do that with it <laughs> and now i'm home I'm like hmm where should i put it but let me see how they look right here because that would be a nice cloud poofy cloud that'll be pretty oops that easy because i already have some already i think these are the proven winners one i think those are sweet alyssum yeah these are different oh my gosh that looks pretty y'all it would have been better if i had had it in the had it going this way it's like it's fading like purple light purple and white but we can work with this as well huh let me see Well, this is nice. I like, I like it. I like this. But you know what's funny? <laughs> I bought this from my container. Let me show you the container that I purchased it for. So these container over here, you remember the one I saw in the, um, when I was in, in the garden center and i was like oh my gosh it's falling over that's so pretty i wanted to create the same effect here let me show you so i want to create something like that oh my gosh that's so pretty already let me see how this one looks um so the white i don't like the white but i do like these two and I have the Super Tunia Latte coming, so I have to leave space in there for it. I think I like the lighter one. Or should I go the purple one? Because if you notice, there's already purple flowers in there. I think the purple looks better, actually. I don't know. Oh my gosh that is so pretty like wow 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 but i'm worried how the super tuna latte is going to go with it like this is amazing y'all okay so i need to go back to the garden center we're not going today and see how it looks like look at this wow i'm gonna put it in there but i want to put it in the front as well Oh, I'm so torn. I have an extra one. I should have gotten an extra, extra one. So I think I like the darker purple to be in there. Because this one is already a light purple. When it blooms, it's a light purple. Then we have the Super Tunier. Were these midnight? Let me see if you can see this one. Can you see this one right here? Let me check. Oh, yeah. So you could see that one. So you saw that one right there. Is that a super tuna midnight? Those are petunias. Take you a little closer. So see? And then we have the dark colocasia in there. So it's gonna be, yeah, some purples. I'm trying to see if I need some white in there. Should I break it up with some white? Comment below and let me know what you would do. Would you put the white in there with the purple? Like it's a small container as in the, the opening is narrow so I cannot fit much plants in there. And the funny thing is I'm not a stuffier container with flowers kind of person. I don't know what's going on this year but ever since I did that video I'm like oh no. I'm going to add three to four flowers in my containers. Who knows I may change my mind later. It hasn't even been a month. And I'm already venturing out from the norm of what I normally do. Alright so let me contemplate some more. <laughs> okay decision made we're going with the dark purple and the main reason why if you look the contrast the purple to the pot like the darker colors look so much better than the white and the lighter one and like i guess i have a latte coming in so yep we're gonna do that but i'm excited guys i need to start getting bigger pots these small pots ain't cutting it no more <laughs> All right, so this is one of the spots that I had left open for my 
I think this was for the latte plant, but we're gonna leave it here so it can trail down. But I love it, guys. I love it. I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Okay, scoot over, Petunia. You're taking up a whole bunch of space here. I'm just digging in to try and get some space. Oh, this pot's big. So if the pot can't fit, that means the plant won't fit. <laughs> See, I wasn't planning on putting a, such a big pot in here. That's why I didn't leave that much space. My watch keeps saying I'm working out. I am working out. Forget what they say. This is workout. Come dig deep. Mm. Oh, everything got roots down here. Okay, scoot over some more. Uh. I'm trying not to damage the roots from the middle plant because I see that one is spreading. Can you fit now? I don't there's roots on the bottom because the other ones I opened it was just mostly soil, it wasn't any roots. This one is the full and part sun, Lobularia purple, easy breezy Lobularia purple, blooms all through spring. Wait, is it just spring it blooms too? I should have checked that before. <laughs> is it only spring? Let me see. Four to six hours of direct sun each day. Da 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 da. La la la. Brooms early spring, late spring. Well, that sucks. It is only like a spring blooming plant. Hmm. There's no summer. So since this one is um doesn't like too much sun, so it will complement that. Super tuners normally like sun, so. This is a mixed <laughs> container plant. Well, I like it, so I'm gonna keep it anyways. It doesn't matter if it's only spring. We'll enjoy you every spring moment that you give us blooms. <laughs> and I don't think it's a perennial, I think it's an annual. Even though my other labularis, it they held on all season long and they were here still. All right, let's see how much roots we got on the bottom of here. See? Yeah, we got some roots. I'm gonna have to make it a bit deeper. Well, they water this in. That's good. It's not dry. I hate when you get them from the garden center. They're all dry. Okay, guys, my supervisor boss is coming. Yes, honey. My toddler. I'm over here. I was trying to get as much. Yes, honey. I made a mess. Why? Because I'm planting. I'm planting the plants. Planting the plants. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it up when I'm done. I promise. I'm gonna clean it up. So she, um, her remember her fairy garden. <laughs> she hasn't noticed that it's gone yet. So let's get this in here. knowing very well this hole is not big enough we're gonna make it work haha <laughs> uh -huh. ta-da look at that pretty pretty spring only <laughs> plant so I'm looking at that one there's literally no space to fit to this like I have to keep enough space for when I get my um oh my gosh I got all the pollen falling off the tree y'all I have to make sure I have enough space for when my um when my other plant comes in I need to come in and put some more soil in here all right so I'm not gonna put it in there I'm just gonna keep it in the front so I'll, I have one and then and if in a few so weeks mommy. it's still there I'll and come back and get it bug. you did yeah you made a bug house yeah okay good job all right so since I that one jacket. I think the bug's gonna love it Why? okay hold on I gotta talk to the flowers all right so since 
<laughs> since those are already thank you honey since those are yes you can say hi okay so since these already have um so much plants in there i think I, I need to make sure i have space to fit the one that i have coming in so i'm not gonna put the other one in there we just have one but look how pretty it looks i should fight and try and get it in there Mommy. i'm gonna fight and get it in. it looks so pretty not to have it in there Mommy, yeah, I get it. whoa yeah yeah i get it. i love it all right so i have let me turn this around a little bit more so it can be symmetrical but look how pretty it looks so the guys now my my super tuna latte my cafe latte no super tuna latte it's like a white and um dark throat one and it i think it's gonna look so good with the colocasia but now that i have this purple in there i don't know y'all turn this around some more there you go but look how pretty it is i love it it looks so complete like before it looked i knew i was waiting for the cat the other super tunia but now it looked like i don't even need it <laughs> so that's that let me hop on to the next project so i still want to put these here and i'm going to hold off on it because i need another purple one to replace the ones i just put in the container so that's where it's going to be so instead let me go work on the red and purple border all right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take up all the lemon coral sedum from here because I want to use them to put in between the stepping stones. And then I'm going to put those over here. Who's getting a windy? I'm going to get a container to put them in just in case I don't have time to plant them today. They're in the container. Ooh, my camera blown away. It's windy. <laughs> It's super windy. <laughs> She's getting blown away. <laughs> so here's my problem. I think there's, I just dig up landscape fabric from the first one. So I think there's some on this one as well. And I hate. <clears throat> Guys, do not plant with landscape fabric. It just make it hard for you to dig in the soil. Look at that. Yep. That's why nothing was going anywhere. It's like a whole thick, super thick spider web. Your shovel can't get through it. Your plants can't survive in it because the web, the roots get tangled up like a web. It's like I can't dig because it's holding it back. So if you're using landscape fabric in areas where you know you're not going to plant, that's fine. You're trying to keep your weeds up. But if you're planning on planting something in that area, good luck. It's just hard to dig in and you can't break through it easily it's very difficult so use your landscape fabric for caution guys ah. it's messing up my whole sedum i'm trying to salvage it so <laughs> which i don't know if i can because the roots are all caught up in the fabric so i'm just trying to take it from here and put it in another part of the garden but it's just all fabric here that it end up growing into ah. And I thought I got all the landscape fabric out the last time. Oh my gosh. So uh, I'm going to try and salvage my sedum because they can grow easily. It doesn't take that much. Even though the roots are kind of broken up now, they can reroot. It's just a fabric I didn't want to take with me in the new area. Oh, this is so annoying. Look at that. Look at that. Look, at, look at that. Look like spider web. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness. You see this? Look at this. Literally. Mm. All the fabric there. I don't know how I got this in there. And I think when I planted it, it was higher, but the roots went down lower. So now it's stuck in it. So annoyed. So. I won't let y'all <laughs> go through this with me. I'm just gonna speed through the rest of it. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna have to try and fight to find a sedum now because it's pretty much mixed in with the dirt. <sighs> but we got ice pop. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so my plan isn't going to work. The sedum is coming up. It's coming up in single. <laughs> 
I'm just going to plant the petunias there. The petunias are going to cover it up so it's not going to be showing. Um, it's going to spread anyways. Like if you look like over there, it's like wherever it pretty much flies, the wind blows it, it starts spreading by itself. You got another one over there. But like I said, I don't mind it being in a garden so it can spread. That's fine. Who knows? I might just sprinkle it throughout the garden <laughs> to get random patches of sedum here and there. But I'm just going to plant the petunia in there and not worrying about fishing it out because that's going to take too much time. And <laughs> look at that. Like the leaves pretty much, like all the leaves choke it, literally choke it right, right. It's not even attached. Like so many leaves fell. I'm literally scraping on the top and the leaves choke it right out the ground. That's how many leaves I've had in the garden. And in case you're wondering, in between the petunias are asters. I don't much know if those are okay, if the leaves are strangling it as well. I'm going to come in and have a small rake and try and rake it out. But yeah, they're still in the ground. I just need to come and rake the leaves from out the asters and see if they bloom this year. It's called a pink aster, but they bloom purple. I'm not sure why they call it pink when they're actually purple. So the red is going to go here. And this purple and red bed is actually inspired by Janie with Dig Plant Water Repeat. She actually did one on her sideway last year. She was trialing these. I'm like, oh my goodness, purple and red. That is so beautiful. I love red in the garden. As you know, I have um, red in my house. Like, <laughs> so the, I like having red as accents anywhere I can. And I have the red um, mini vista scarlets over there. These are mini vista scarlets as well as the ultramarine. The ultramarine are new this year from pro Proven Winners. She was tra testing them out last year. They did really well in her garden. She's a zone nine as well, but she's on the West Coast. And these are new for 2023. So th those were new for last year. So they both did pretty well. So I'm gonna test them out in my area. And this is not a full sun area. I would say morning sun, yes, but it doesn't get afternoon sun. So I'm gonna test them here and see how they do in partial sun. But, oh my goodness, this, between this um, landscape fabric and the leaves, oh my gosh. Oh. So we'll continue working on this. Oh, and I think there's a tree root right here as well. Yeah, so we'll continue working on that. Careful, careful. I'll trouble you. Good job, you did it. I can help you. Yes. Mom, I'll help you. Yes, you did. You helped me. There's a root right here. So I gotta go to the left some more. I'll trouble you did. You helping me dig? Yeah, hurt your flower. No, I, I gotta stay away from the flowers. I'm making a hole for the new flower. Why? Because flowers like dirt. Well, it's technically soil, but they love to be planted in the ground. So I gotta put them in the ground. <gasps> you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't touch it with your hands. There's worms in there. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yep, that is big enough, deep enough. Last hole. Scoot over. Okay, so I'm going to move this Shasta Daisy over here. So I dug a hole for it. Let me show you. I dug a hole right there. All right, so let me go ahead and move this Shasta Daisy. Yes, my baby. Okay, I'll, I'm coming to help you. All right. I had just moved it here so it's not <laughs> too stuck in there. And I'm going to get some, um, some biotone put in the hole. Got my biotone. Come on, Shasta Daisy. Sorry to move you again. <laughs> but it's a better space for you. You have to be next to your friend. All right. Oh. 
And if you don't like worms, use a glove so you don't get worms on your hand. <laughs> I don't feel like go back inside to get my gloves. I don't like worms. You don't like worms? No. Okay, I'm gonna buy you some gloves. Not a reason why my nails are short. So I can wash them out. <laughs> because I have my hand in dirt. Okay, so right here is a tree trunk. And if you see, it comes all the way here and it's cracking the driveway because it's growing under the driveway. And everybody in my neighborhood has cut these trees down because it damages the foundation. So, my husband has been in talks of cutting it down. So we'll see. <laughs> because it is growing toward, um, towards the house. So that's not good. We may have to substitute it for another tree. But in this community, they plant them way too close to the house. And I hate when they do that. It's an oak tree. They have very vigorous roots. To the point where your foundation cracking. Not good at all. All right, so I'm gonna add a little compost. As you remember, I just got this from Lowe's. So I'm gonna pretty much put it in each hole along with some bulb tone. And as you can see, my soil is a bit on the sandy side. So I'm trying to amend the soil. So my petunias, my super tunias, can get extra nourishment. So let's get that started. So I'm gonna just put the compost in the hole. Make sure it's gonna be high enough. It is. And then I add some biotone in there. Thank you so much, honey. Okay. And then I put it in the hole, like so. And I backfill it with the natural sand. <laughs> and look at this, y'all. Can you see it? Sand. That's sand. <laughs> and then I got some of the sedum in here that I'm trying to salvage. So I backfill it with the sand and some compost. I guess that will give it some. Yes, honey? You gonna go inside? Okay, I'll wait right here. Go ahead. You sweaty? Go change your shirt. Get a, get a short sleeve shirt. My boss lady is going inside because she's hot. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> she had on long sleeve because it was cool earlier. Now it got hot. So now we have the red one done. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other three down there. You can go inside. Okay, so look at this. So two and a half quarts is $6.99 and 1.6 pint is $3.99. So pretty much almost half the size. And I don't know why I thought this was six. <laughs> I was saying six and a quarter this whole time, but it's not even six and a quarter, it's two and a half. And this one, so wait, okay, there's 1.6. So the one that I ordered from Proven Winners the, um, website, I think it says four and a quarter. So that means it's probably bigger, it's twice the size as this, and that's $9.99. So I'm going to hold on to these containers and compare it, because I should be getting in about two weeks and see. So anyways, let me grab the rest of these containers. I'm pretty much done with this border. So this is my red and purple border. And we're gonna move on to my next border. When I'm looking for the plant tags and I can't find it, I'll put it right here. All right, so here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna come in and water it in in a minute. So we have purple. And the reason why it's not in a straight line is because I have to plant around the tree roots. Like this one, there was a root in front, so I had to push it further back. And this one over here, <laughs> there was a root right there. I was trying to dig next to the red, so I had to push it more to the left. And that's the root I was telling you about that was causing the driveway to crack. 
and I had to move the Shasta Daisy further in the back. Poor Shasta. He got moved around quite a bit. So it is 5 p.m. And thank goodness for daylight savings because I got daylight. These. these were sitting here for a while and then I'm finally getting around to planting them. Another plant that has been sitting around for a while is this plant over here. I need to come in and weed the bed as well as um, mulch. I can't wait for mulch. Is these lemon core seeds? So I dug the holes already. I just gotta stick them in now. But these are my lemon core seed. And they're on this border. It's a southwest border. So now the sun sets. Like all these plants over here, it's 5 p.m. Like all these plants here are in full sun in the afternoon. So all the hair. And then I was doing a cottage garden back there. I need to finish there but that's on hold for now until I finish the front so let me come and finish up this here all right so like I said I just dug the holes and I just need to get them in there it's gonna and I actually had some compost here already, so I think I should be fine. Looks doesn't look sandy. Let's add in some biotone in here. I bought this a long time ago, I think last month. And it's been sitting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, why is there a plastic bag in it? What in the world? Look at a random bag in there. That's so weird. <laughs> Why was there a random bag? <laughs> Good thing I saw it. It messed up my plant growth. Okay. So now let's get you spread out. So you can be living your best life. And these... Even if you break piece off and plant it somewhere, it will take and start growing. So they're not very hard to grow at all. Where's the rest of my soil? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> so let me backfill it. You guys hear the birds? It's spring, the birds are out, they're here. There you go, now you can spread and trail and mound whatever you like to do to your heart's content. And there's no tree over here so it won't get as much leaves in it as it, as it did the last time. That was such a pain, oh my gosh. That tree drives me crazy. It provides shade for my plants but when it's time to shed those leaves, boy does it shed. This one looks a bit more sandy, so let me add some compost in here.
and you're not supposed to plant um, your plants in the sun but I'm gonna come in and give them a good watering and it's what time is it I think my watch died that's how long I've been out here Whew. so I think about 5 36 o'clock so the sun should be going down soon so it's not scorching sun so it should be fine Okay, so over here, um, if you remember when I was doing my purple and white border plant up, I ran out of the indigo. So what did I what I did was I got a super tuna bordeaux and that's what's gonna go there underneath the butterfly bush. So let's get you planted up. Bordeaux. And actually my biotone finish. I think I have some plant tone, so I'm gonna use a plant tone instead. I remember I had the climbing rolls right there. So there should be a lot of um, compost in there already. So didn't have any more rose tone. We got holly tone, so that's what we're gonna be using. It's sun is so harsh. I'm trying to see if I can get you better. Ooh, I think it's worse on this side. <laughs> Let's put it this way. It's gonna have the shadow of the camera in the way. Sorry about that, but here you go. But yeah, over here is a bit harsh, so I'll make it quick. So I'm pretty sure I took the soil from here and put it in the other bed where the rose is. And that's deep enough. So yeah, this is all compost already in there. I'm gonna put this here and I'm just gonna have to fill it with the compost because I have no more soil <laughs> it's all gone I'm sure my Bordeaux won't mind being buried in rich soil And one day when it's raining a lot, I'm gonna come out and get all these weeds out when it's nice and wet. That's the best time to get the weeds out. They pop right out. All right, so here go my Bordeaux right here. This is my butterfly bush over here. And this is a, um, a mums, a garden mum. See? If you haven't seen the Bordeaux, fold apart sun, hardy, and it's an annual except in zones 10 to 11. Certain times I wish I was in zone 10, but we gotta deal with this cold weather, guys. We'll have a lot more perennial plants, I don't have to consider annuals. Okay, this one, all this leaf in here, oh my goodness. Uh, I'll leave some in there. It will serve as organic matter. Let's see, do I need to adjust this further to the front? I think I need to bring it down here. I think it would be fine over here actually. Bring it over here some more. Like right here 
and then this way you can end the border so this is like roses over here so this one is the mini vista wallet star right through hello birdies how you doing there's a lot of roots in here this is not from my rose it's from another plant and the reason I'm using this and not a bigger shovel is because I have a cable line here and I want to make sure that I'm not hitting it but I know it's like closer towards the rock but I just want to make sure because I'm not trying to have anybody come out and charge me for having to fix the line where's the where's the oh I'm here looking for the biotone so it's hot tone All right. There we go. And then we backfilled it. And these containers are recyclable. So no need to throw them out as trash. You can put them in a recyclable thing if your city does recycling. Mine does, so I'll be recycling it. Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. I've been out here so long, my battery's dying. So here go the lemon coral sedums. They're over here. I'm just gonna clean up. And I finally got my purple border completed. I've got a Bordeaux and the mini vista in there. And let me show you the other side. So I just found these. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't plant them. So they're a little bit dry. So let me go ahead and get them in the ground, salvage them. I forgot that I had them. They're um, hostas. All right, so let's go and get them in the ground. We are doing some cleanup work. I got all the empty containers, all the pots cleaned up. Now I'm just gonna get all this pollen off the ground and I'm gonna water the plants in. Yes, I planted them. I didn't water them right away. I had to run up and get my babies her book before the library closed. All right, so I'm going to get all this pollen off now. Okay, so we got all the leaf and pollen blown off. So here is the new pink and red bed with the blue point juniper. So that's done. And then across from that, we have my purple and red bed. Y'all don't understand. I can't wait to come and mulch. I think two weeks, guys, I'm going to mulch. I actually have to order the mulch first because like you guys saw, I went today and I didn't see it. So I'm going to have to order it and have them deliver it. So we have red and purple. Oh, and my phone died. So I was actually planting the, um, what do you call the the hostas? So there's one right here. Let me show you. I planted one right here and the other one over here. Let me get you closer so you can see it over there. Right there. So, and I already had an existing hosta right there. So this is my little shaded area that I have in the garden. So I have my hostas planted. And then let me show you the two containers there so that you can see it in the front. 
let me go around so you can see it. There it is. Ta da! But look how pretty. It looks so cute with the um the labulari. Is it labulari? Whatever it is hanging over. I'm so tired, y'all. Like I've been up and about running around with kids. Like I didn't even show you the parts where I'm running around with kids. <laughs> so this is just from the garden bed to life. But yeah. So that's the that's one. Where is the other one? Oh, and I also so I didn't I'm gonna put this in the back my um the other lobby lobby is I'm, I'm still cons cro I'm, not, I'm still cross between put them in the front or um in containers and I'm kind of leaning towards containers but I'm gonna hold on to them for a little while I'm not gonna plant them yet since I'm a bit undecided of what I want to do with them now over here I got my super tuna bordeaux planted and I got the final um What's that one called? The final Violet Star. Subertina Mini Vista Violet Star. So now my border is complete. The other um, purples are actually indigos. All of those are indigos. So I couldn't find any more indigo. So I just stuck a border in here. It's just gonna have to work. It's purple, it will blend in. And I got my butterfly bush right there. And then along here, I got my lemon coral sedum, so that's going to fill in. I think I wanted to end up touching each other and being one long piece, so I think I'm gonna like that. And oh my gosh, look, this is not a garden tour, but look, my rose are coming in. Look, all the buds on it is filled with buds. So I still have the containers to do. I'm gonna have to do that later. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm waiting for proof winners to send me my yellow. Supertunia is to go in between the reds that's along the pathway there and uh, the saffron finch I'm gonna put it in there it's yellow there's actually a <laughs> lobularia right there it's getting swallowed up by the persimmon it's not I may take it out but you, because you can't see anything because that other one is so vigorous so I may take it out and put it in one of my containers or something uh, what else did I do that I should show you hmm if you enjoyed this video and you've made it this far, please like the video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you so much. But follow along because I am going to come in and show you all my other. I'm going to mulch here. So probably in two weeks, I'm going to get the mulch. So it's going to look so good with a black mulch oh my gosh you guys understand i'm like visualizing and i'm getting excited because the black against the plants are gonna look so good and i just realized my tripod is lopsided so if the video comes out lopsided guys so sorry so sorry but in the meantime i'm gonna grab these because i don't want them to burn and tuck them away because i'm not sure i want them here i may end up buying more because i like them here and get another one for the containers oh i don't know what i didn't show you you guys didn't even remind me. Let me show you what I didn't show you. And I was trying to remember what it was and I just saw it. So I'm going to show you now. Come on. You can see it from here actually. Look. And I think I want to get another one. My hydrangea on standard. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? So I pushed it a bit further because I noticed the sun. The afternoon sun was it was getting up to the chair and that's a very hot afternoon sun and it will burn because <laughs> I have other hydrangeas and I know they've burned so like right there it get a little bit of sun not too much but enough for it to be satisfied um I'm six foot tall so let me stand next to you so you can see so it's up to my up to my thigh almost at my waist so that's a pretty good height and I'm sitting it comes like chest height but I'm loving it. I'm thinking I should have got another one to go on the other side. But I'll keep an eye on the one for now. But yes. So exciting. So exciting. So the last thing I have left to do now is actually watering everything. And you're not supposed to water your plants after the sun goes down. But I'd rather get them watered in than have them sitting in the dry soil. Because yeah, we need to get them watered in. So let's get to that. 
Do you guys want to see me water plants? You guys don't want to see me water plants. If you're still here, that means you're sad the video is ending. But guess what? I created an entire playlist. It's called a 2024 planting playlist. So you can hop around and see all the plants that you missed if you haven't seen them before and watch those videos. But don't worry, I'll have a new video up tomorrow. You can watch that one. Thank you for watching. Happy gardening. Bye.